Hello family, today is August the 23rd, 2017. Today is Wednesday and I have come on to make loaded potatoes. So to make this particular dish, family, you are going to need some bacon. I have some unsalted uh, pure butter. I have some marble cheddar, some garlic and herb seasoning blend, black pepper, garlic powder, a little lorries, some chopped onions, reduced fat sour cream, and some um, chives and onion cream cheese. And I've also took the liberty on peeling the potatoes already. Let's get started. At my local Food for Less, I got this bacon on markdown for $1.49. As you can tell, it is quite fresh. The front and the back. So this is what we're using. You always want to start your bacon off in a cool skillet. Um, cooking your bacon in a cool, in a cool skillet. Say that um, like three times really fast. <laughs> okay, so to cook your bacon, you want to start it in a cool skillet. And that way, it will keep your bacon from burning up and burning the edges of it really bad. So start your bacon off in a really cool skillet first. Auntie, what else are you cooking? Well, I have uh, seasoned up some pork chops. Um, I just seasoned them with seasoned salt, black pepper, garlic powder. Pretty much that's it. And um, I put it, placed it in this bowl here so then therefore to keep them fresh and keep them refrigerated while I fry them. I have um, cut up about a good, maybe a good two pounds of potatoes. Now you can also um, use red potatoes, which would probably be really, really good because I like red potatoes. Um, but I just bought the regular russet potatoes, a 10 pound bag for uh, $2.49 at uh, Food for Less. That is my uh, local store here. And I happen to like it. And uh, so we're just doing it that way. Get some fresh water. Oops. You want to put enough water to simply cover your potatoes. No big deal. We're just frying. We're just cooking potatoes. This is my mama's old, old skillet, old cast iron skillet. I love it. I love cooking with it. But I know you guys question, why do I always, always, always cook with canola? Well, first of all, let me show you my canola. Um, I always uh, cook with canola because canola oil is unsaturated fat oil. It is far much more superior than cooking with corn oil, shortening, vegetable oil. If you fry your foods in canola, it's far more healthier for you. And the taste doesn't taste any different. It actually tastes pretty good. You want to put a little salt inside of your potato. Why am I putting a lid on it? Because it makes it boil faster. You could take a little bit of flour, do a couple of those numbers like that, and when it bubbles up like that, that lets you know that your oil is ready. So let's get the, let's get some pork chops ready to go up in this oil here.
I decided that I would um, change skillets and use this soft pan here to, um, oh, now one other thing too. This is a soft pan because it has a lid. It's wet because I just washed it. But this one is a saucepan, and this, my friends, is a skillet. They're two different things, okay? Skillets don't have lids. Saucepans, such as this, have lids. So that is the difference. But I decided that I was going to, um, I decided that I was going to make the kids some um, string beans and bacon. So that's why we're going to switch this out and use the saucepan so we can put some uh, string beans on. As you can see, this over here is beginning to boil. But anytime it begins to do that and you don't want it to boil out, then therefore you can take a wooden spoon like this and lay it across here and then put your lid on and it won't boil over ever. Dig that. Bless you, baby. Okay, I usually put two of them in there at a time because I do want them coated really, really good. Kind of rub some of that flour in on them a little bit so then therefore they'll be fully coated like so. That's how you want them to look. You don't want to overcrowd your skillet too tough because then therefore it takes away from the crispiness of your chicken or your pork chops or whatever you're frying. So you don't want to overlap them too much because then therefore it's going to interfere with our crispy and we don't want none of that. Always turn your handles on the inside. Especially if you have minor children in the house. Somebody comes through, knock over a skillet. Um, or... As my kids were smaller, they would grab, you know, stand here in the kitchen and, you know, constantly pulling on, you know, pulling on you, pulling on stuff. And then, therefore, if you turn your handles in like so, then, therefore, that keeps the kids from pulling those things down. I am frying the pork chops at a 5.0. The, the uh, bacon is going at a 2.8. And the potatoes are at a 4.5. So you want to constantly monitor your temperature as you're cooking and cook it, you know, longer and slower as opposed to faster and higher because you don't want to burn up your food and change up the taste. It just won't be a good look. Our bacon is cooking very well. Let's tilt it down a little bit so you guys can see. It's not burned or anything. It's nice and crispy. Our potatoes. Let me pan up just a little so you guys can see. Once you put that in there, it won't overboil at all. So, you see that? It won't overboil. I don't know what that's, why, why it does that. It just does. Hmm, interesting, right? I opted for the tongue because I like using the tongue better than using a fork because when you pierce the meat, you're letting out a, its juices. So it's better to use tongues when you're frying as opposed to a fork because once you puncture the crispy, now you're letting out all the juices. You really don't want to do that. We're going to take out um, maybe about half. That's about good enough for our potatoes. And then we're going to use the rest of this and its pot liquor. 
What pot liquor, Auntie? What pot liquor? Pot liquor is your grease and your juices from whatever it is that you're cooking. So we're going to make a little pot liquor for our string beans. Okay, we just simply have some 49 cents uh, French style green beans. Me and my kids, we kind of like the uh, the French style. So, but for, anyway, for the most part, what we're doing is we're going to only cook two cans. But on one can, we pour off of the fluid. And on the second can, we leave it. Because you want to use its juices for our pot liquor. So, now we're going to take some black pepper. Some seasoning salt. Laurie's. Of course, right? Always Laurie's. That season all shit don't taste right. Let me just go and say that part right there. Okay. And then we're going to some chopped onions. Okay. Now, if I wasn't making um, loaded potatoes, then I would put um, some chunked potatoes in there. That's all already chunked up already, I would use those. I'm going to find my, my uh, vinegar because i got to put a little bit of vinegar in there, but I don't see it right now. So just for camera purposes, I'll be adding that in a minute. But you want to kind of just stir that around just a little bit, just a little. We're cooking it at a 2.8, so we're just going to leave that and allow it to simmer down and cook down and cook into its juices. When you're frying chicken and pork chops and stuff, if you're not making gravy, you want to go through and skim this off from the bottom of uh, your skillet because this will burn and it will make your meat taste burnt, okay? But actually, it's just the drippings from the flour. Now, if I was making gravy, I would use this to make a brown gravy. But we're not, so we're just going to toss it out. Okay, we're just going to break this up and cut this up just a little bit. Cut it up kind of fine. Um, we're putting it in the KitchenAid anyway, so it is going to... Um, break up anyway with the motion of the uh, blade um, as it also breaks up our potatoes but you just kind of want to break this up just a little little bit so that it won't be big 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 pieces in your potatoes okay now we're going to pour those in there Let's get our potatoes ready. And so we're going to start off with our chives and onion. Philadelphia cream cheese. Okay, we're going to start off with our um, chive and onion Philadelphia cream cheese. And what's best is to use a rubber spatula. But we're going to do one of these numbers and make sure we get all of this like that. Are we using the whole thing? Yep, we're using the whole thing. Okay. Now, we're going to use unsalted butter. I'm 
Monty, what's the difference between salted and unsalted butter? Well, unsalted butter is primarily used for your pastries and such. And um, so that's what I usually use it for. I use unsalted for my pastries. So we're going to take, let's say about a, almost a half. A stick of unsalted real butter. Yum yum. Okay, and we're going to add some garlic and herb zesty seasoning. I'm just going to twist the cap off like that and do it like this. We're also going to put our cheeses. I had some already in the refrigerator that had a little bit in it. So that might give us what we need. Um, again, add to your own taste. Me and my kids are um, cheese eaters, so I don't skimp on cheese. But, um, we got to add it. Okay, so we're going to put some black pepper. Okay. Uh, just a little bit more garlic powder. Though we had it in our chives, but we're just putting just a tiny bit. And it was also some in our um, herb seasoning as well. And we're going to hit it with a little lawrence. Now, usually you would taste it first um, before you do that. But however, I didn't need to. So, and then also I'm going to put some milk. I buy 2% fat milk for my house. Um, that is... Uh, the milk that I usually buy. Okay, so let's get it stirred up. Now you want to taste this and see what you need and what you don't need. Oh my God. Oh, yum, yum. Oh, yum, yum. Now, I'm going to put just a tad bit of sour cream in here. Just a little bit. And we're going to add a little bit more seasoning to it. So we're going to add just a little bit of cream, sour cream, excuse me. Just a little bit of sour cream simply for taste. We're going to add some minced onions, just a little. And we're going to put just a little bit more lorries in here. Okay. Oh my God, it's so bomb. Mm. Mm. Gonna add just a little bit more cheese. Cause that's how we like it in my house. Pow, right there. We're gonna stir this up one more time and that's gonna be it. That's it. Usually I put white distilled vinegar, but I don't have any. So I'm going to put just a little bit, just a drop of this. My kids might not even know the difference. I hope not. I hope it don't change that much of the taste, but I'm just going to put just a little. We're going to make it work.
Dinner is now served. My oldest have already eaten and has taken work, um, food for work already. So I'm just making my other baby some uh, dinner, make plating him up. Here's dinner. Bon appetit. Thank you for coming, family. Bye-bye.